Hey guys, it is uh, Tuesday, October the 18th. This is our Highland Forest West update. Um, we have lots of activity, um, several homes completed, several homes under construction, and a few homes coming up. So we're gonna give you an update on what we got going on in Highland Forest West. So first we're gonna make a right onto Yarby. We're gonna pass by the Bolinaires, Orton Creek, It'll be this blue house up on the right. As you can see, it's a beautiful uh, day here in Leland, North Carolina. There's the Bowens Orton Creek. That's absolutely, I love the roof lines on that house. Absolutely beautiful house. Hey, John and Barbara. Um, and then as we go up, we're gonna make a right. And there we'll have the Fittnery residence, which is a custom house under construction. The Peterson Residence, which is a modified Harbor Town 3. And then we have the Connell's uh, Finished Cape Lookout. So as we turn down on the left, you will see that house, the one under construction with the Tavik wrap. That is the, the Fittneries, uh, it's home site 18. It's a beautiful uh, custom home that we're working on right now. We'll keep you guys posted on that. And then here is Paul and Martha's Harbor Town, which has been heavily, heavily modified. As you can see, it's canted. It has the second um, bonus room. So there's actually two. It's got double the size of the upstairs of our normal house. That's gonna be Martha's art studio. And then it also has a pavilion room off the back in addition to the back porch, which is really cool. Um, so we'll definitely keep you guys posted on the progress of that home. So behind these homes is hole number 18. There's the Connell's Cape Lookout. That was one of the first Cape Lookouts we ever built. Now you can see the fitneries, the back of it. It's got a big balcony off the back, golf cart garage. So we're on the opposite side of Timber Ridge Estates, just so you guys are kind of understand where we are. We'll definitely give you guys a tour of that home as it progresses also. We have several completed homes up here on the right, starting with the Currens, Mike and Marietta. Their home is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and uh, Larry, Larry lives there also. And he has his own little apartment upstairs, which is really, really unique and special. This is the Currens. Love the elevation of this house. It's just got so much character and so much detail. And then we have Vicky's Fort Fisher, well underway. I know she's super excited for, to be moving in, hopefully here soon. We've got the spray foam insulation going in. Thank you, MPI Foam. And then Scott and Dory just finished their move from Landfall to Compass Point. This is their beautiful Shackleford Banks front load. Then we have Mike and Liz's Harbor Town 3. Mike's got his drum rib up here in the front, which is awesome, so Liz doesn't have to listen to him. And then uh, down here at the end of the cul-de-sac, we have two completed homes. We've got a Harbor Town, and then we also have the Whitman's Custom House. So this is the Whitman's right here. We'll definitely do a walkthrough of this home. We're getting photography done, so you'll definitely be able to see that one because it is unique. It's almost like a mixture of a um, Wharton Creek and a Harbor Town together. Then we got a few more homes to show you. Um, Bob and Ruth's got their Shackleford Banks right here on the right. And then next door, we're almost finished with Joe and Lisa Keller's Woods Cove. Um, we do have a Woods Cove for sale in Compass Point, so if you do want uh, to walk through this home, we are going to have one available. There's the Woods Cove. And then we are breaking ground soon on this home. Um, they were just in for selections at Elric's. They were, here, they were here for selections last week, and they're going to be building a Shackleford Banks alternate. And that concludes our tour of Highland Forest West.